Good morning, everyone. It is Friday, December the 20th, 2019. It is currently 9.54 a.m. Central Time. We're doing a live broadcast to test the audio quality because my last live broadcast, which was 34 minutes long, when it was uploaded and I started listening to it, well, it sounded like... I don't know what sound that is, but that's what it was making. And, um, well, I had to delete that live broadcast after spending 34 minutes talking. So that was very frustrating. So we're going to do a test right now to see if this is working correctly. And if not, try to figure out why not. And what I need to do, actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to grab my iPad. I'm going to open the Spreaker app. I'm going to open the Spreaker app, go to BBC, Baptist Baptist Church, Theology Central. We are live on the air now. Let's listen to us live. Looking at our world from a theological perspective, this is the Theology Central podcast, making Theology Central. There's our introduction that's played when you hit the, to, when you hit the, listen to us. So clearly, it's working correctly. So I don't know what happened earlier today. Um, that, that's, a, that's a frustrating thing. If you don't know what happened, you can't fix it. So something wasn't right. So we'll see. Maybe I can get the, uh, the, the broadcast that I did earlier today. I can redo it and hopefully make it even better than it was. Um, we'll see. Got a lot of other things to talk about today. So we will see. If you happen to be listening to this live broadcast, let me let me do say this. Um, Christianity Today has released an article calling for President Trump to be removed from office, and a lot of Christians are attacking Christianity Today. It's kind of ridiculous uh, how Christians are, you know, how they're acting. A lot of people are pointing out kind of the hypocrisy of some Christians who defend Trump and going listing everything that he's done, and they've got all these lists of all the tweets and some of the immoral things he said, immoral things he has done, not apologizing for them, defending them. And um, so here's what I would say. Whatever your view is on impeachment or the removal of Trump from office, if you're going to make a comment about the Christianity Today article, clearly demonstrate you actually read the article. You can still disagree, but you're disagreeing based on something you read. You didn't just read the headline and then attack. All right. I think that that is important. All right. I'll stop right there. And, um, well, thank you for listening to this test. God bless.